Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for July 31st and August 1st for my Virgos. So Wednesday and Thursday. Okay, the new moon, um, you know, July 31st to August 1st. It's really, it's really a new moon more for North America. So I'm sorry to the people that are outside of the North America area. So your moon might be a little bit later than that, your new moon. Maybe it's a little earlier than that. But um, it is considered a black moon. It is the second new, I mean, it's a black new moon. It's considered that because it's the second new moon in July. But there's also going to be two new moons in August, too. So it's okay. Now, I want to let you know. Okay, excuse me. This is Wednesday, Thursday reading, so I use my Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Also, too, Mercury goes direct at the same time as this. So there's, there's still this energy. And again, you go back to that galactic new year I talked about, and there's something called the Lion's Gate on August 8th. And you can look all of this up on the internet, too, because it's just a lot of energy. Some of this I do post on my Facebook page. Okay, let us see what we have. Nothing is reversed. Let's go and see for this Wednesday, Thursday. The star, Archangel Ra Jophiel. And this is basically about making wishes, wishes coming true. So, ba you know, so ba you know, if you use this new moon, even if it's not on this 31st and 1st, get out there, my Virgos, and use this new moon to request stuff. What is it that you're looking for? What is it that you need? What is it that you want? What is it that you want to that you want in your future? This is that time to do this, okay? Wish upon the star. Now this is will be the new moon, but this is still very 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 positive energy for you. A dream come true, believe in yourself, the end of a difficult situation. So, if you've been having a little bit of strife, conflict per, in your relationships, you know, job personal, family, things start to work themselves out. And I don't necessarily know if it's that the things work themselves out or you work yourself out. Because I do believe, you know, we talk about in the long reading for August, it's like you cut the emotion out. And it's not that you aren't caring or, you know, or kind. No, it's not that. It's just that you're like, no, I have to go, f I have to go straight. So watch the long reading too, because this, this does fit with what I, what we were just talking about. Okay, next card. The Six of Ariel. This is your energy. This is also, because this is Earth energy, solid energy. This is also our Taurus and our Capricorn energy. And this is, you know, this again, very much so with this and with this. So these are great, great, great days. The energy for these two days are, is going to be wonderful for you to go and, like I said, get, go and you know, go for it, okay? If you're looking to, you know, if you're if you're looking for that promotion, go and talk about that promotion. If you want to meet somebody, go and meet someone because the Six of Ariel is saying material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways, acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. But remember too, you know, when you when you do get, when you do, you know, when things start coming to you, please remember to, you know, say thank you. It's always good. You want to say thank you. Last card, the King of Gabriel. Now this is about Leo energy, Aries energy, Sagittarius energy, fire energy, passionate energy, generous, inspirational, dramatic, driven. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. So there is that, it, that part of you that acts of kindness, that genuine concern for others. So it's not that you're not aware that other people are having some problems or some issues. It's not that you're not aware, but you are, are walking down your path. And again, the August reading, I do believe, really fits with this well. So it doesn't mean that you, you're not aware. It doesn't mean that you don't care. And it doesn't mean that you don't help. But you're putting your focus on things, you know, and, and this is not selfish. So let me tell you this, this is not selfish because you're putting your focus on the things that 
the things that maybe you need, maybe you want, maybe you your goals, you know, you're putting them on, you know, you're, you're, you're setting your goals straight or you're, you're putting your focus on things. I don't want to just say things for you because that doesn't, that sounds, you know, it's like, oh yeah, it's all about you. No, 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 no. But there are, you know, it's, it's, it's almost like I need to go this pathway. I need to go this direction. And when I go this direction, I will ha I will be able to help more. Okay. I hope that makes sense to you, but this is great energy for you. Great energy for you, my Virgo. So take advantage of it. Take advantage of that new moon. Get out there. You request, you request your, you know, everything, anything and everything, because you know what, you know, if you don't ask, the answer's always no. And if you ask, sometimes the answer's no too, but it's always good to ask. So, my Virgos, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.